Hello everyone. So in this topic, we have started Boyle's law. So firstly, we have discussed statement and its uh, relation, or we can say that formula. After that, we have completed the relation between the density and pressure. Now it's time to discuss about the graphical representation of the Boyle's law. So in that, actually, we are going to plot three graphs. First one is the pressure versus volume. Second one is the pressure versus one by v, and third one is pressure volume versus pressure so in that first we will discuss this first graph so if we are plotting the pressure versus volume at that time we are getting the curve so in that when we are plotting that graph we can observe that this type of slope we are getting or curve we are getting it, it indicates that as the pressure increases volume decreases this is the first conclusion we can observe here so this graph if we consider this graph is plotted at the 200 kelvin second graph again we are getting that is at the 400 kelvin and third curve we are getting at the 600 kelvin in that whatever curve we are getting that each curve each curve is plotted each curve is plotted at constant temperature at constant temperature so it is called as a it is called as isotherm what is that it is called as a isotherm now see here we have drawn or we are getting the three curves but first one it is at the 200 kelvin means if pressure is one then volume is that much pressure is two volume will be different pressure will be three volume will be different like that but temperature is the constant so that 200 kelvin 400 kelvin and 600 kelvin so here we are we are getting this relation another one conclusion we can uh, say here from this graph what is that conclusion that conclusion is that if we consider that pressure volume is constant k1 is equal to pv k1 is increases with temperature means as the temperature increases that constant also increases so here this is the first graph we have plotted and we have discussed about this one now this time to discuss the second one now say second one for that one if we are plotting the graph pressure versus 1 by v pressure against the 1 by v at that time we are getting the straight line which is passing through the origin if we consider these are the different temperature this is the t3 this is the t2 this is the t1 t3 is the highest one t2 and t1 okay now see according to that we can say that when graph is plotted against pressure against the 1 by v then we are getting the straight line here we are getting the straight line which is which is passing through origin which is passing through origin so another one point we can say that here at higher pressure what is that point at higher pressure at higher pressure gases deviate from gases deviate from this law from this law that is under such a condition under such conditions under such conditions straight line straight line is not obtained straight line is not obtained so here we have completed that second graph what is that second loss uh, second graph see here when we are plotting the graph pressure versus 1 by v at that time we are getting the straight line which are passing through the origin at after that we can say that if we are increasing the pressure at specific level of the pressure that we can say that at higher pressure at higher pressure we are not getting this straight line so this is the second graph now we are going to plot the graph pressure pressure volume versus pressure when we are plotting this graph at that time we are getting the straight line but it is not passing through the origin it is just parallel to the pressure axis so this is the 
graph which we are getting so here if we consider temperature is 200 kelvin here it is or here it is 300 kelvin it is the 400 kelvin and it is the 500 kelvin so for this first graph temperature is constant at that time k1 here it is k2 here it is k3 so we can say that when we are plotting the graph that is pressure volume versus the pressure at that time we are getting the straight line straight line but it is not passing through the origin it is not passing through the origin through the origin it is but but it is parallel to the it is parallel to the pressure axis it is parallel to the pressure axis clear to everyone here we can say that at constant temperature product is the constant okay. so in this way we have completed the graphical representation of the Boyle's law also hope so everyone understood that total Boyle's law means statement formula relation between density and pressure and this graphical representation in the next lecture we will discuss some numerical based on this one thank you all of you